Hi there. Now, in this video, just going to look at part B of this question. Remember, we were told then that the number of houses sold by an estate agent followed a Poisson distribution with a mean of two per week. And now we're being told that the estate agent monitors sales in periods of four weeks. And we've got to find the probability that in the next 12 of these four week periods, there are exactly nine periods in which more than five houses are sold. And we worked out in the previous part, uh, A part two, the probability that more than five houses were sold in a four week period. It was 0 0.8088. And if you're unsure of this, do go back and check out my video on that solution. So for this one here, part B, what I need to do is to define a new random variable. I'm going to say that that random variable is Y. Let y be the random variable, the number of four-week periods where five or more houses are sold. And we're doing this over 12 sections, okay, 12 trials as we call it. And what we've got here is a binomial model. Just briefly tell you why it's a binomial model. If we were to look at a tree diagram for something like this, we'd have 12 trials. I can't draw 12 trials. I'll just show you the first three, okay? And this is going to carry on after that. But what we've got essentially is in this first four week period, we could have more than five houses being sold. So that would be the probability of Y being greater than five, or we could have less than or equal to five houses being sold. So that's Y is less than or equal to five. Now this is going to carry on like this. In this second four week period, you could find that the estate agent sells more than five houses, less than or equal to five, and so on here. And it's gonna carry on like this, okay? So I hope you get the kind of idea each one of these coming off with two outcomes. And it's going to carry on over the 12 trials. Now, if I assume that all the probabilities stay constant, they're independent and occur at random, then what we've got here is a binomial model. So I can say that where y is distributed binomially and there's two parameters to the binomial distribution. The first is n, the number of trials, which is 12, and the second is p, the probability of success. And that will be where the estate sells five or more houses in that four week period. And we've seen that that probability from A part two was 0 0.8088. So what we've got to just work out now is that the probability that there'll be exactly nine periods in which more than five houses are sold. So that's going to be the probability that Y is equal to nine. And to work this out, all we need to do is use the binomial probability formula. And you should be familiar with that, but if not, just a brief reminder, here it is here. So what we would have is for NCR, it will be 12C9. So we've got 12C9. Then it's multiplied by P to the power R. That's the probability of success, which is 0 0.8088 to the power 9. And then it's multiplied by Q. That's the probability of failure, 1 minus P. So it's 1 minus 0 0.8088. Eight, eight, and that's to the power n minus r, so that would be to the power 3. And if you work this out, you'll find that you get 0 0.2277 and so on. And if we round this to three significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.2283 to three sig figures, 3SF for short. Okay, 